In this example, I need to factor completely the trinomial 2x squared plus x minus 6. What's the first thing we do with every single factoring problem? It's look for a greatest common factor. While well, looking at our numbers, I have 2, 1, negative 6, no numerical common factor, and not every single term has an x in, so there's no, no variable common factor either. So I'm just going to have to factor this trinomial. And how do we factor trinomials? We're going to compare it to ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the coefficient of the x squared. So in our case, a is 2. b is the coefficient of the x. What numbers in front of this x were too efficient to write? There's a 1. So b is 1. And C, the constant term, is negative 6. So A times C is 2 times negative 6, which is negative 12. So I need two numbers that multiply to AC, which is negative 12, and they add to the B term, which is positive 1. Since my two numbers multiply to a negative, that means they have opposite signs. And since they add to a positive, the one with the bigger absolute value has to be the positive number. So I'm going to start with negative 1 and 12. They definitely multiply to negative 12. A negative 1 plus 12 adds to positive 11, not the number I'm looking for. So I'm going to put it on pause for a second to work out some of the other factors. So I tried negative 2 and 6, that didn't work. But then negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, and negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1, and that's the number I'm looking for. Hopefully you don't have to do this table in every case, but I'm just trying to show you a systematic method that works if you can't come up with these numbers very quickly. So. These are the two numbers I'm looking for. They are not my factors. That's what I'm going to break my middle term down into. Instead of 1x, I'm going to write negative 3x plus 4x using these two numbers here. So my problem's going to become 2x squared instead of the 1x. I have negative 3x plus 4x minus 6. So I've just rewritten that middle term. And the reason we do that is now I have four terms so I can factor by grouping. What do the first two have in common? I think the only thing they have in common is an x. And I factor an x out of 2x squared. It's going to leave 2x. Factor an x out of a negative 3x. It's going to leave negative 3. Bring down the middle sign. What do the last two have in common? Just a 2. Factor a 2 out of a 4x, it's going to leave 2x. Factor a 2 out of a negative 6, it's going to leave negative 3. Now, is this binomial the same as this one? Yes, that's your common binomial factor that you bring in front. So I factor out my binomial 2x minus 3. And what does it leave behind in the second binomial? x plus 2. So in factoring this trinomial, my answer is the binomial 2x minus 3 times the binomial x plus 2. And don't forget, how do you check every factoring problem? You foil out your answer to see if you land up where you started.